Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of synchronization. So basically synchronization is something in simple words you can say. If some task is going on, in the same way if you are doing, that is nothing but synchronization, right? Or at some particular flow, assume like, let me give you an example guys. Okay. Okay, just to give me a second. Okay, so let us take this example guys, it will be better. Okay. So synchronization is nothing but you the flow of the program or flow of the thing will be in a proper way guys. So assume that you are collecting data from a sensor. Okay. So every 30 seconds you should get the data. So it is if it is giving it you can say that it is synchronous or if there are three sensors and every 10 seconds each sensor will alternately giving. This will give it every 10 seconds and this will be giving after this give after 10 seconds like every 20 seconds you get two values. So in that way. So these all are synchronizations guys. Okay, so one is a sync to another. So that is nothing but synchronization. Okay, so coordination of actions between processes is nothing but synchronization. We use a clock to achieve this to send and receive data in simple words. Okay, okay, so the first type is nothing but clock synchronization, guys. Okay, so it is a mechanism to synchronize the time of all computers in distributed system. So basically, here you will be using the clock, our clock, like 24 hours clock, time which we will be using sorry which we will be using to synchronize the things okay okay so clock synchronization can be achieved in two ways guys one is external and the other is internal so external so external is one in which external reference clock is present so basically you will not use your system clock or your physical clock you will be using some other external clock to synchronize okay so it is used as a reference and the nodes in the system can set and adjust their times accordingly so basically in simple words, if you ask me synchronization, so synchronization is nothing but assume every 10 minutes at 300 in India, you should get a message from me. Okay. Assume in that way. So basically, even if you are in US exactly at this time, you should get right exactly in India when it, the time is there at that time you should get, but with respect to time reference of US, it could be different. So synchronizing them. So basically converting this time into three o'clock in US is nothing but synchronization. Okay, in simple words, I'll be saying in that way, guys. Okay, yes. So internal clock. So internal clock means you will be using your own clock. Okay, is a one of which each node shares its time with others and all nodes and adjacently time according to them. So, so basically internal clock means the systems will share the clock among all the systems and they will be adjusting at the fi at finally they will be adjusted some time. So that is nothing but internal clock. Okay. So two clock synchronization algorithms are there. So the first one is nothing but centralized and decentralized or distributed. Decentralized or distributed. Okay. Yes. So centralized from the name itself you can say. So there is a system in center and it will be controlling everyone. Okay. So centralized is the one in which time, ser time server is used as a reference. Okay. The server time is used as a reference. The single time server propagates its time to nodes and all the nodes adjust their time accordingly. Okay, so based on the server time, everyone will adjust. So that is nothing but centralized guys. Okay, so if the root or the server fails, the whole synchronization fails. Remember that, that is the major disadvantage. Okay, similarly distributed. So distributed from the name only you can say it is everyone's choice. So is the one in which there is no centralized time server. Instead, nodes adjust by sharing their values. So basically, if there are three nodes, this guy will be saying that in my clock it is a 3 o'clock. This guy will be saying in my clock it is 310. He will be saying in my clock it is 250. So in this situation they will be saying that you increase 10 minutes, you decrease 10 minutes. And at the end they will be ending up at 3 minutes, 3 o'clock. So in that way. Got it? Yes. So that is nothing but distributed. Okay? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture we will be discussing about a physical clock guys. Okay? So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.